A woman recovering from a lung transplant has been left in the lurch after a charity shuts down her fundraiser. New tonight at 11, her daughter tells WBZ's Tammy Mutasa the foundation is going under and the money is gone. Tonight, this family feels completely blindsided and frustrated. Their mom is a double lung transplant patient from MGH, but the organization that's supposed to be helping them pay for her medical bills is now unexpectedly shutting down. The day we got that call, I think everybody was just so excited. She finally got her second chance at life. And this picture shows that gratitude in Donna Sinclair's face, moments after a double lung transplant at age 68, stemming from a COPD diagnosis. She's now even surpassed the life expectancy she was told. She didn't have that much longer to live. Um, when she got placed on the transplant list, we didn't even know if her name was gonna get called in time. But life after surgery was anything but easy for the retired grandma with medical bills piling up. So family, friends, and businesses rallied to donate 35,000 for Donna through the National Foundation for Transplants. The family says even MGH recommended the Memphis-based organization. They depend on this to survive. But without warning, on April 8th, the family got this letter from NFT saying it was closing without dispersing money to its patients. Donna would lose $11,000 that was left from her fundraiser. She said it feels like a slap in the face. The money is just gone. I reached out to the National Foundation for Transplants. They sent me this statement saying, all contributions received by National Foundation for Transplants were donated for its discretionary use adding tax laws and IRS regulations prevent the earmarking of any donation for the benefit of any specific individual, meaning that the money raised for Donna was for the foundation as a whole. My biggest question is where did the money go? Why was everybody led to believe that this was their money to save their life if that's not the case? While her mom has fought for her life, the daughter is now fighting for answers. This is scary and it's unacceptable. We don't know where we're going to go from here. I reached out to the Attorney General's office to see if they've had any other complaints in our state, and I'm told they're looking into it. In Boston, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you.